Considering buying a Taiga, let's talk about the main reasons why you should or should not be buying one. What's up guys, this is Mitch from Boardco. Today we are gonna be talking about Taiga. First, I'm gonna give you a breakdown on some of the background and history on Taiga. Then we're gonna dive into the specific reasons as to why you would potentially want to buy a Taiga boat. First off, let's talk about Taiga as a company. Taiga Boats is consisting of two different brands, Taiga as well as ATX, which is a newer brand that is essentially a subline to Taiga, similar to Malibu and Axis, Centurion and Supreme, or Super Moomba. Um, if you wanna relate this to the car world, think Toyota and Lexus, with Taiga being the upper end line and ATX being the lower end line. Now, Taiga was originally started as a break off of Centurion over in California. In fact, Centurion actually for a number of years built boats for Taiga until they eventually moved over, started their own production facility, and now they are currently built down in Abilene, Texas. Now, when it comes to Taiga, they've been building boats for quite a while. They build a really nice product and a lot of people really love and enjoy those boats. So let's dive into the main reasons why you would potentially want to buy a Taiga, and then we will dive into the top five reasons why you may not necessarily want to buy a Taiga. Reason number one why you may want to buy a Taiga boat is the interior finishing. This arguably may be the number one thing that Taiga does a great job at and that people really point to as far as the reasons why they really enjoy or start looking at a Taiga in the first place. They do some really nice top end finish work on the boats themselves. Probably the most notable thing you can reference is the diamond stitching that is kind of their signature marker they do throughout their entire line. And this is something that a lot of people really, really enjoy and makes the boat seem and feel a lot more plush and a lot nicer. This is one of the first things that you'll notice if you're looking at Taiga and one thing that may attract you to Taiga in the first place. Reasons to buy a Taiga number two is the storage space in the boat. Taiga does a really nice job at laying out their interiors and their design so you get great storage space. This is a combination of having boats that are really deep and tall, as well as having a hull design that is extremely flat so they can really box and square off the boats and really maximize storage space in the boat. This is particularly the case when you look at the new Ultra Series boats that are arguably one of the deepest boats ever built, which means you get lots of of additional storage space, particularly in the rear lockers and on the sides of the boat, um, which is a really nice thing because in that boat in particular, they eliminated the main storage locker that is under the passenger seat and replaced it instead with a refrigerated cooler setup that goes in that boat specifically. Reason number three to buy a Taiga boat is the looks and aesthetics. Overall, Taiga has spent a lot of time and energy and effort focusing on ensuring their boats look nice and have some really nice trim elements. I already mentioned stuff like the diamond stitching on the interior. However, these same type of things apply to the exterior of the boat and other elements. Things like different lighting setups on the tower, as well as a lot of the different body lines and aesthetics make it just a nice overall appealing looking boat that a lot of people like the look and design of. Reason number four to buy a Taiga, their steering wheel design. They actually have some really nice cool features in regards to their steering wheel setup that allow you to have great controls for the driver while you're operating the steering wheel. Now this can differ depending on which series of boat we're talking about, but overall there's some really great designs that make it so that you can have some additional controls right at your fingertips while you're operating the boat. Number five, the Taiga Ultra specifically. Now I wanted to carve this out as a separate item because it really does seem like an entirely different boat experience from the rest of the Taiga line, as well as what Taiga has done up to this point. The new Ultra design with the 23 and 25 ZX is really an elevation of what Taiga has done historically. They're a really nice boat that has some really nice creature comforts and features. I've had some the opportunity to spend some time in them. And the number one thing I walked away with after looking at the Ultra boat is going, you know, it's quite a bit nicer than I expected, to be honest. Everything from the trim design to the layout to the to the functionality is really nice. There are certain elements that you may or may not like that can be total personal preference, like the flip around seat um, on the passenger side and the removal of a storage locker on the passenger side and replacement with a refrigerated removable cooler setup. But whether you like it or don't like it, it's kind of a unique, innovative design element and is something that may be a really great thing that you really enjoy in the boat. Now that we've covered the benefits of having a Taiga, let's talk about the main reasons why you may potentially not want to buy a Taiga boat. Number one, the rough water ride. Now, 
The Taigas are really known for having their convex V hole design. This was a particularly helpful hole design when we were wanting to create a better wakeboard wake with less ballast back in the past, and they've adapted and moved it onto current generation boats to make it so it can throw a better surf wave. There's some elements to this, however, the downside with this hole design is it does mean that the boat will definitely not ride through rough water nearly as well as some other different boats. In an area where some boat manufacturers are actually putting a hook design or the opposite of a convex V in order to give it a better rough water ride and better performance. Taiga has doubled down on the convex V, which though it may have some elements and areas where that's great, the downside to it is it really translates into not the best overall rough water ride. So if you're gonna be dealing with big open water, driving through big waves, it may toss you around and beat you up more than some other different boat brands. Reason number two not to buy a Taiga, the engine options. So Taiga is running Inmar engines, which overall build Build great motors that are very reliable. The downside to an Inmar engine is they're running on a Ford platform that is running an overhead cam design, meaning that while you're doing things such as wake surfing, you're going to be running significantly higher RPMs than you will on other different Chevrolet supplied motors. The downside of this higher RPMs is it's going to burn more fuel, but it's also going to result in a much noisier experience, which is one of the big downsides that we hear reported from a lot of different people that are looking at a Tiger or coming from a Tiger about is that they the engines perform great however they are exceptionally loud while you are driving them around in particular while wake surfing reason number three not to buy the taiga is the overall performance of the boats and the need for additional weight particularly while wake surfing so taiga boats are overall not poor performing boats by any stretch however in each area whether it be wakeboarding or surfing there's definitely other boats that are out there that can perform notably better and in in addition, because of the convex V hull design, there's going to be other boats out there that will actually water ski better as well. So though Taiga can perform decently, in order to get an optimal wake surf wave, you're going to need to add quite a bit of additional ballast into the boat, whether that be a whole bunch of additional people or additional steel weight that you're going to add on top of the factory ballast. The general feedback that we get from just about everybody is a Taiga boat overall performance size, whether we're talking about wakeboarding or wake surfing, is just medium. Reason number four not to buy a Taiga is the build quality of the boats. Now, Taiga does a very, very nice job at trimming and finishing the boats very nicely. The fit and finish or the aesthetics of the boat itself are exceptionally done on a Taiga. That said, there's other elements such as on their stitching on the upholstery that is not going to last nearly as long just because of the overall quality, the materials and the craftsmanship that goes into the boats. Taiga has done an exceptional job at making the boats look very nice, but they may not have the same durability characteristics that are available in other boat brands. And last, reason number five not to buy a Taiga is just because it's not really the best at anything. So as I mentioned, when we were talking about performance characteristics, there's just about nothing with the boats where you're going to find something dramatically superior on a Taiga compared to other different boats that are out there. They can be a good wakeboard boat, a good surf boat, a good boat as far as the overall aesthetics and design and interior elements. However, with each one of these different categories, there's other boats that are out there that will do a superior job. And this is one of the reasons why Taiga overall makes a great quality product, but you may want to select a different boat if there's any particular thing that you're trying to do a lot better. As an example, if you're wanting a better wakeboard boat, a Nautique or a Malibu is going to typically do a lot better. If you're looking for a boat that is going to surf better, you're going to definitely get a superior effect with a Nautique, a Centurion or a Supra. But overall, a Taiga does a decent okay job at everything, but it's not really great at anything. So the question is, do you agree with the assessment that I just broke down? If you have any thoughts or opinions, whether you like it or don't like it, comment and let us know exactly what you think. And if you want more information such as this, check out boardco.com and where we give out more information about what our thoughts are regarding all the different boat brands, all the different features, and a lot of things that can help you as you are searching for your ideal surf boat. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you later.